ओम शांति दिस इज़ द अव्यक्त मुरली ऑफ नाइनटीन ऑफ नवम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ओरिजिनल डेट थ्री ऑफ अप्रैल नाइनटीन नाइन्टी सिक्स टाइटल इज एज वेल एज डूइंग सर्विस बिकम फ्री फ्रॉम योर ओल्ड एंड वेस्ट वर्ल्ड संस्कार्स by having an attitude of unlimited disinterest today the unlimited father is seeing his unlimited constantly cooperative companions you constantly cooperative children in all directions are constantly seated in the father's heart on the heart throne the incorporeal father does not even have an import immortal throne of his own whereas you children have so many so bab dada is constantly happy to see you children seated on the heart throne wah my children who are seated on the throne the children are always happy to see the father all of you experience happiness on seeing bab dada and bab dada is also pleased to see all the children because each child is a special soul even if a child is the last number child even while being the last number he is still in the list of a handful out of multi millions so does the father have greater happiness on seeing each child or do you have great happy greater happiness brackets both the father has so many children the more children there are the greater the happiness he has whereas you only have double happiness that is all you have the happiness of the family but the father's happiness is permanent is your happiness permanent or does it fluctuate bab dada believes that the breath of brahman life is happiness if you don't have happiness you don't have a brahman life and it is imperishable happiness not happiness that you only experience sometimes to a percentage happiness is happiness if today you have 50% happiness and tomorrow you have 100% happiness then your breath of life is fluctuating bab dada also told you earlier that even if you said your body your happiness should not disappear so is this lesson firm or are you still a little weak in this have you underlined the word constantly what would those who only experience this sometimes be those who have constant happiness are those who pass with honors whereas those who only experience this sometimes have to pass through the land of dharmaraj those who pass with honors will return with the father in a second they will not stop anywhere so who are all of you those who go back with the father or those who stop brackets the ones who go back with the father does your chart show this all of you know what bab dada's special hope for every child is is in the ear of the diamond jubilee do you not bab dada saw the charts of all the children what did baba see in them according to the present time one particular aspect needs further special attention you are moving forward in service with a lot of zeal and enthusiasm everyone has special zeal and enthusiasm for doing service in the diamond jubilee you have all passed in this each of you is doing service according to your capacity and will continue to do so however what is now especially needed time is coming close 
and so according to the closeness of time what wave should there be brackets disinterest what kind of disinterest limited or unlimited do you have this stage of having unlimited disinterest according to the need of time to the same extent as you have zeal and enthusiasm the success of your service is when the subjects are created as quickly as possible this is why you do service is it not until you instrument souls have an attitude of unlimited disinterest other souls cannot have an attitude of disinterest you want everyone to receive the father's introduction but they cannot receive it unless you have an attitude of disinterest unlimited disinterest is permanent disinterest if you have disinterest according to the time or the circumstances then time claims number 1 and you claim number 2 because it is due to the circumstances or the time that you are inspired to have disinterest once the circumstances finish and the time goes by your disinterest also finishes what would you call this unlimited disinterest or limited so you now need to have a limited disinterest the main basis for losing disinterest is the consciousness of bodies unless there is disinterest in body consciousness there cannot be permanent disinterest in anything there is only temporary disinterest it is not a big thing to have disinterest in relationships in their hearts many people in the world also have disinterest however here there are various types of body consciousness you must know these types you do don't you you know the details of your number one you know the details of your numerous types of body consciousness however after knowing all these different types of body consciousness you should be able to have unlimited disinterest and your body consciousness should change into soul consciousness just as body consciousness has become natural so soul so soul consciousness also has to become natural in the same way in every situation the word that comes first is the body in terms of relations you speak of the relations of your body if they are possessions they are possessions that belong to your body so the main basis is body consciousness while you have body consciousness in any form you cannot have the attitude of disinterest bab dada saw that at present the reason for the obstacle of body consciousness is that you do not have disinterest in the old sanskars of the body first of all you need to have disinterest in the old sanskars of your body sanskars bring your stays down because of sanskars there are obstacles in the service you do and in your connections and relations so baba saw in the result that for as long as you do not have disinterest in the old sanskars of your body you cannot constantly have a limited disinterest sanskars attract you to themselves in various ways where there is the slightest attraction to something there cannot be disinterest so check am i free from my old and wasteful sanskars no matter how much you try and you do try to have an attitude of disinterest some or even the majority of you have such strong sanskars in some aspects that they pull you to themselves so first there has to be disinterest in the old sanskars why do the sanskars emerge even against your conscious wish you don't wish them to but they do emerge because you haven't burnt away their subtle form a trace of them still remains they are hidden and involuntary they emerge at some time you then say i didn't want to but it just happened so what can i do it just happened who is saying this 
बॉडी कॉन्सियसनेस और सोल कॉन्सियसनेस देयरफॉर बाप दादा सॉ डेट यू स्टिल हैव सम वीकनेस इन हैविंग एन एटीट्यूड ऑफ डिस इंटरेस्ट इन योर संस्कार यू हैव फिनिश्ड दैम बट यू हैव एंड फिनिश दैम टू द एक्सटेंड डेट नॉट इवन अ ट्रेस ऑफ दैम रिमेन्स वेयर देर इज अ ट्रेस ऑफ दैम देर विल ऑल्सो बी देयर प्रोजेनी If today there is a slight stress then according to time according to the time that takes the form of its progeny it puts you under an external influence what do all of you say just as the father is knowledgeful so too we are also knowledgeful however what are you when the sanskars attack you knowledgeful or knowledgeful so instead of being knowledge full you become pulled by knowledge you are not knowledge full if any of you were to be asked you would say yes i do understand that it should not happen that i should not do that but it happens so at that time are you knowledge full or are you pulled by knowledge those who are knowledge full cannot be attacked by any sanskars any relationships or any possessions so you are celebrating the diamond jubilee diamond jubilee means to become a diamond that is to be one who has a limited disinterest there isn't as much attention paid to having an attitude of disinterest as there is to enthusiasm for service there is cleverness in that you say everything is moving along fine it continues to happen at the right time everything will work out fine is time your teacher or is baba your teacher who is your teacher if you transform yourself according to the time then time is your teacher if your creation is your teacher is that right when such circumstances arise what do you say it will be all right at that time it will work out fine you even reassure the father Don't worry everything will be all right and we will move forward at the right time does it suit you master creators to make time your teacher do you like it no time is your creation and you are the master creator it doesn't suit you master creators to have your creation become the teacher of the master creators so now in the time that bap dada has given you make your attitude of disinterest emerge when there is a pull of service the attitude of disinterest finishes because you receive happiness and power by doing service and you also receive the instant fruit while you are doing service unlimited disinterest finishes therefore awaken the attitude of disinterest within yourself was it you who became this a cycle ago or was it someone else you were this were you not now simply allow that which is emerged to which is merged to emerge just as you make practical plans for service emerge and this is why you achieve success in the same way now make your attitude of unlimited disinterest emerge no matter how many facilities you have attained and day by day you will receive more facilities do not let your spiritual endeavor to have an attitude of unlimited disinterest be merged make it emerge let there be a balance of the facilities and your spiritual endeavor as you progress further matter will become your servant you will receive regard and respect but while having everything do not let your attitude of disinterest decrease Do you experience an atmosphere of an attitude of unlimited disinterest within yourself or have you become busy doing service Just as people of the world are able to see the impact of your service they should also be able to see the impact of your attitude of unlimited disinterest What was the stage of all of you in the beginning When you were in Karachi there wasn't any service you had the facilities but by making the atmosphere one of an attitude of unlimited disinterest you increased service so all those who are celebrating their diamond jubilee have the original sanskars but they have now become merged 
Now make this attitude emerge once again. The attitude of unlimited disinterest of the original jewels enabled establishment to take place. Therefore, now in order to establish the new world, make that same attitude and same atmosphere emerge again. So did you hear what is needed? If you did not have any facilities and you say that you have disinterest, who is going to believe you? It is while having the facilities that you have to have disinterest. There is such a vast difference between the facilities of the early days and the facilities now. The spiritual endeavor has become hidden and the facilities have become visible. Acha, it is good to use the facilities. Use them generously because they are for you but do not let the spiritual endeavor become merged. There should be a complete balance. You tell people of the world to become like a lotus flower. You tell them to become like a lotus flower while having all the facilities. The facilities are not bad. In fact, they are the fruit of your karma and your yoga. However, it's a question of your attitude. It shouldn't be that you become trapped in the expansion of the facilities and come under the influence of the facilities. Should it? Become as detached as a lotus flower and loving to the father. While using them, do not be influenced by them. Stay detached. Do not let the facilities make your attitude of disinterest become merged. At present, there is a great need for this. Everything in the world is going towards the extreme and so there has to be an attitude of true disinterest. You are the ones who will create that atmosphere. First within yourselves, then within the world. So what will those who are celebrating the Diamond Jubilee do? You will spread the wave, will you not? All of you are experienced. You experienced it in the beginning, you had everything. Eat as much real ghee as you can, but nevertheless have an attitude of unlimited disinterest. People of the world eat real ghee, brackets clarified butter, but you used to drink it. You have seen rivers of ghee. The special task for those of the Diamond Jubilee is to have heart to heart conversations. Since you are all together now, just as you have meetings for service, so too have meetings for this service. For what Bhaptada says, when you wish to become bodiless in a second, the foundation for that is this attitude of unlimited disinterest. Otherwise, no matter how much you try, you will not be able to become this in a second. You will be caught up in battling. Where there is disinterest, that is fertile ground. Whatever you sow there, the fruit will emerge instantly. So what do you have to do? All of you should feel that you too have to have an attitude of disinterest. Acha, do you understand what you have to do? Is it easy or difficult? Will there be a little attraction or not? Will the facilities not pull you to themselves? You now need to practice this whenever you want wherever you want and however you want. You need to be able to set yourself in that stage in a second. When you have to do service, do that service. When you have to become detached from service, become detached. Let it not be that service pulls you, so that you cannot stay without doing service. You need the willpower to do what you want, as you want, when you want, do you have willpower? You should be able to stop as soon as you are told. Stop. It shouldn't be that you are put a full stop and it becomes a question mark. Full stop. Not even a stop, but a full stop. You have to be able to do what you want practically. You want to become this, but it is difficult to become this. So what would you call this? Do you have willpower or just power? As soon as you have the thought to finish all wastes, finish it in a second. 
बाप दादा ऑल्सो टोल यू अर्लियर डेट मैनी चिल्ड्रन से वी सिट डाउन फॉर योगा बट इंस्टेड ऑफ योगा वी आर बैटलिंग दे आर नॉट योगीज दे आर वॉरियर्स ब्रैकेट्स योद्धाज If you have the sanskars of battling over a long period of time what will you become part of the sun dynasty or the moon dynasty as soon as you think about it it should happen for something to happen as soon as you think of it is a matter of a second this is known as will power do you have will power or is it that you create very good plans but out of 10 plans only 5 happen practically it is not like that is it you think very well we will do this this will happen however there is a difference in it happening practically so you now need to have such will power that you experience something being already accomplished as soon as you think of it it is seen that amrit at amrit vela when you have a heart to heart conversation with the father you say very good things i will do this i will do this however what is the result when night comes you make baba very happy by speaking such sweet things such good things baba becomes very happy wah wow, my children you say baba whatever you have said to us it has to happen it is already accomplished you speak very good things some reassure the father so much and say if it were us if it weren't us who else would it be baba we are the same ones every cycle and they become happy are those sitting at the back listening carefully will those sitting at the back do this before those who are sitting at the front you are sitting at the back but you are close in the heart why you did the service of giving others a chance so the servers are constantly in the father's heart don't ever think that if you were also dadis you would also you are not in the front but you are in the heart the heart too is not an ordinary heart it is a throne so you are those seated on the heart throne are you not no matter where you are sitting whether in some corner down below or in the cabin you are in the father's heart to the souls everywhere who have the most elevated fortune and are seated on the throne to the special souls who constantly make the atmosphere that of an attitude of unlimited interest to the special souls who constantly use their elevated specialities to the close souls who constantly experience the company of the one father and the hand of sri mat bap dada's love remembrance and namaste spiritual children say namaste to the spiritual father blessing may you become an embodiment of total success by knowing the significance of being faithful to the one and pleasing the bestower of blessings the blessings of the father the bestower of blessings are infinite and whoever wants some can take as many as they want the treasure store is open some become f- full from uh, that open treasure store whereas others become full according to their capacity the innocent lord in the form of the bestower of blessings fills your aprons the most you simply have to know the way to please him and you will then receive total success the bestower of blessings loves one expression the most and that is being faithful to the one let there not be anyone else even in your thoughts or dreams let it be in your attitude that you belong to the one and none other the aprons of those who understand the significance of this remain constantly full slogan serve with your thoughts and words simultaneously and you will continue to receive double the fruit slogan serve with your thoughts and words simultaneously and you will continue to receive double the fruit om shanti